After all the excitement and anticipation of the last few months waiting for the embed to arrive, it's finally in the shops now. I've had a few questions online and to the map page of how you set it up, how you use it. So we're going to do a quick video now explaining the benefits of it, how to set it up, how to put it in the clip more importantly, and how to catch a fish using it. Do a small, medium and large in it and varying weight sizes to cover all eventualities. So I'll put this down, I'm going to show you the rig, how to set it up, so simple and so efficient. Start off with tail rubber threads on first. It's a quick change system, so we've got tail rubber first, then threading the main line through the stem, which moves up and down the line, into the quick change bead at the bottom. Threading it through the bead and tying it in an overhand loop into a figure of eight and pulling down so the bead sits in, a, in the actual loop itself. So dead simple. I put that into the bottom. I then get my feeder. Today I'm using a 32 gram, I'm chucking about 40 meters, sliding it onto the line, sliding it up, pushing it into the bottom, holds it safe, tail rubber straight on. It is as simple as that to do. It doesn't get any easier than that. It complies with all fisheries, we have free running rigs, so you hook a fish, it runs up and down. It complies with everything all around the country. Look, that's how simple it is, it's run down straight away. Talking about the most important part of the feeder. For me, the feeder is a hybrid feeder. It has a clip in it, but you don't always have to use the clip. It's a really high sided feeder, so it protects the bait, casting out and hitting the surface. So I'm going to show you how I would use it with the clip. I'm keeping my rod with a bit of tension on, and then I like to put it in the clip first. If I'm going to use a clip, I like to put it in first. So a bit of tension around my middle finger, so then I'm putting it this way and that way. I then push it down. That is in the clip now, it doesn't come out. Hang it to the side. Literally, I'm using a mixture of pellets and ground bait today just because it seems to have been through playing out today what the fish are wanting most. We're loading it in, dead simple like that. Take a bit of time moulding your method in. I know it's still a hybrid feeder, but you still want to take a bit of effort into doing it. So I'm moulding it properly, making sure that when I do cast the feeder out, it's working the most efficient way for me. So there you go, the feed is loaded, it's in the clip, you can still see the line going to the base of the clip here. So we know that when we chuck out here, we're going to be fishing with like a sort of an inch and a little bit hook length. So for me today, catching F1s and two or three pound carp against the island mainstay, with odd big and it's working perfectly. The point I stress to you is, it's a hybrid feeder, you do not need to use it in the clip, the clip is an added feature to the, to the feeder. If I was catching carp really, really rapidly and I want to chuck out, hit the surface, reel back in, chuck out again, I would just, as a normal feeder, put it on, chuck it straight back out. So today, I've got it in a clip now. I'm going to show you, I'm going to cast out, I'm going to catch you with fish to prove it. A fantastic way of fishing here at Barston, and it's proved a downfall of uh, probably about 15 or 20 carp so far. So let's have a, another cast straight on the spot. And let's catch you with fish, we're using it now. As I just said to you, now there's a load of carp by the eye and it's literally been in there for about 30 seconds and gone straight round. When you're picking up on the fish, you can actually see the fish swirling on the surface. So what I'll probably think about doing now is I'm purposely using quite a big feeder at the moment. So there are two options I've got really with this embed system now. To win matches, you've got to be a bit of a gambler at times. So. I like to gamble me, so I'd probably think about really having a go for it now and trying to win the match and putting a bigger embed on and actually putting, some, putting a load of bait in and just try and get every single carp in the peg going for it. That's probably what I would do, I've always been a gambler in matches, I think no one ever remembers second place, so I like to put a bit of gear in. But then again, if it went really funny and I started getting a few skimmers, I could also just change it over and quickly put a small one on. Because we've got Super League here in a couple of weeks time and the fish Every fish is going to be quite important because everyone's a great angler on the league. So, yeah, I'm on the clip now. He's woke up all of a sudden, not paying attention, talking to you. But that's the beauty of the system. With it being a quick change system, you can change around and quickly change your peg and that. I don't know, I'll pull a bit in Barston here. I had quite a few, four or five, getting on for double figures. This is probably, again, going to be a big fish. The, like I try and tell people, the hardest part's getting the bite. So when you hook a fish, try and take your time and get the fish in. It's eight or nine pounds. It's a lot of skimmers to catch eight or nine pound up. 
like I say, from a personal point of view, I do try and play the fish on a clutch a little bit, which gives you that bit more control over them. And it saves you wrapping your knuckles. One thing with Barston that's so noticeable is because it's such a shallow venue, they do pull a bit. And even in wintertime, you look at carp and that, it still takes a little bit of getting out. Last year on the feeder mast, I drew dead opposite this other side and had 260 pound on the feeder, just fishing like this. I seem to spend forever playing fish, so just take your time. You're still in a match. You haven't got to be the quickest guy in the world. You catch one of these, someone else got to catch two to beat you. Great big, lovely mirror carp there. What I like about this embed system is, every single time you catch one, it's in a clip, it's nailed directly in the bottom lip. And that bottom lip on carp is so, I'll have to get Disgorger on this to get him out, I think. No, oh, here he goes. The bottom lip on the carp is so much harder than the side or down the back of the throat. If you look at carp in the back of the throat, soft tissue, you can pull out of them. The idea of fishing is a method or a hybrid, it's a nail them right in the bottom lip. When they're in the bottom lip, it's so hard once that hooks in to get it out. So, absolutely fantastic looking carp there. I'm not going to lift him up, I don't want to hurt him. So, probably seven or eight pound of prime Barston carp on the end bed. I'm going to change it up now, put a bigger feeder on. Let's really try and put some bait in and try and go mad. Nice bream there. Just showing that the embed feeder isn't just a, a carping tool. Once again, in the clip, nailed him right in the, the bottom lip. Well, a fantastic way to finish the video off. Nice skimmer, or bream, two, two and a half pound. Just shows that the embed feeder is perfect for carp, perfect for bream, so check it out in your local map stockist i'm sure you're not going to be disappointed a fantastic product